An international team of about 100 scientists of the Borexino collaboration, including particle physicist Andrea Pokar at the University of Massachusetts Amherst, report in Nature this week detection of neutrinos from the Sun, directly revealing for the first time that the carbon-nitrogen oxygen. The CNO cycle is the dominant energy source powering stars heavier than the Sun, but it had so far never been directly detected in any star, Pokar explains. For much of their life, stars get energy by fusing hydrogen into helium, he adds, in stars like our Sun or lighter, this mostly happens through the proton-proton chains. However, many stars are heavier and hotter than our Sun, and include elements heavier than helium in their composition, a quality known as metallicity. The prediction since the 1930s is that the CNO cycle will be dominant in heavy stars. Neutrinos emitted as part of these processes provide a spectral signature allowing scientists to distinguish those from the proton-proton chain from those from the CNO cycle. Pokar points out, confirmation of CNO burning in our Sun, where it operates at only 1%, reinforces our confidence. That is, how the Sun's central metallicity, as can only be determined by the CNO neutrino rate from the core, is related to metallicity elsewhere in a star. Traditional models have run into a difficulty. Surface metallicity measures by spectroscopy do not agree with the subsurface metallicity measurements inferred from a different method, helioseismology observations. Pokar says neutrinos are really the only direct probe science has for the core of stars, including the Sun, but they are exceedingly difficult to measure. As many as 420 billion of them hit every square inch of the Earth's surface per second, yet virtually all pass through without interacting. Scientists can only detect them using very large detectors with exceptionally low background radiation levels. Please support my channel to grow by pressing subscribe button and the bell icon, we will notify you technological news. Thank you.